It's going to be a beautiful sunrise this morning. Good morning, Lena. Good morning, Bree. What can we expect as we close out this holiday weekend? Well, today is actually not going to be too bad. Aside from the wind, mild temperatures for today and tomorrow. We kind of went from that stormy pattern, if you remember, down to you know dry and quiet conditions. And now we're kind of a little bit in between. Yes, so definitely some good weather conditions for tomorrow as well. Yeah, we could see a little bit of unsettled weather breeze, some, you know, maybe some precipitation kind of on and off throughout the week. Actually, the week will be mainly dry and quiet, no major storm systems. And the temperature profile stays, you know, seasonable to mild. We'll see 40s today and tomorrow dip down into the 30s, but that's normal for this time of year. Uh, several shots for some light rain or snow showers as the week goes on. But again, no major storm systems in play for the foreseeable future. Definitely a beautiful sunrise, like you mentioned, uh, 34 degrees right now in Springfield. That's closer to our average high for this time of year than our average low. So we definitely woke up on the mild side and the mild temperatures will continue as the day goes on. Winds not quite ramping up yet, but today will feature strong westerly flow as the storm system from yesterday exits and the air, at least in the valley right now, currently dry. So winds will ramp up as the day goes on. Expect wind gusts in the valley 30 to 40 miles an hour. Hill towns and higher elevations potentially up to 50 miles an hour. And that will stick with us for most of today. Winds will start to diminish and die down as the evening goes on. It stays breezy in the overnight, but again, not quite as windy. That'll act as a little bit of a buffer for radiational cooling, as will mostly cloudy skies this evening. And then flow does stay westerly uh, through the middle portion of the week, really through Tuesday before Wednesday hits. Now, highs for today are certainly pleasant for this time of year. We can expect 40s in the valley, upper 30s in the higher elevations, a mix of sun and clouds, but more sun today than yesterday for sure. Again, as mentioned in the overnight, we'll have cloudy Cloudy skies that acts as a blanket keeps us on the warmer side. So overnight lows will be closer to our highs for this time of year than our lows. Typical lows this time of year in the upper teens, typical highs uh, in the lower 30s. So you can see that's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Similar temperature profile for tomorrow, a couple degrees colder. Again, we have the potential for maybe some rain or snow showers uh, and probably more so in the way of clouds tomorrow as well due to that. So temperature profile, as mentioned, seasonable to mild as the week goes on. Things will dip down on Wednesday into Thursday. We could see some lows in the morning, maybe in the single digits, uh, if not in the teens. That's with the passing of a cold front. A little bit of a ridge is going to build there. But aside from that, upper 30s and lower 40s as the week goes on. So not bad. Let's time things out for you in future cast. As mentioned, several shots for snow this week. Just, you know, light snow showers or flurries, mainly in the Berkshires, uh, hill towns and higher elevations. So for today, most of us will remain dry. Mix of sun and clouds, but that risk for some snow flurries sticks with Berkshire County. That's more moisture coming off the Great Lakes. It gets forced upslope with a higher elevation, so it squeezes some of that moisture out of the air. Sticks with us in the overnight. Again, a mix of uh, clouds and clear skies for the overnight, and that snow risk kind of just stays in place for Berkshire County over the next few days. Now, as we head into Monday, again, mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures a little bit colder, but we could see some precipitation here in the valley. You see with temperatures closer to 40 in Springfield, if we see anything here, likely to be rain, maybe some mixing, but again, temperatures on the milder side. And that exits pretty quickly. Then we just have some clouds with us overnight. Monday into Tuesday, we'll see some clearing. So temperatures will drop as we head into Tuesday. It'll be a little bit colder for the middle portion of the week. So again, snow chances on and off as the week goes on. Nothing major. Our best shot for snow, not till Thursday. And really just looking to be a coating to an inch at this point. So no appreciable accumulation. This is just kind of what I like to call snow globe weather, right? Just enough snow to make it look pretty out there, but not enough to cause any major problems on the roadway. So that's the good news. Windy today, but mild today in tomorrow, then the return of seasonable, mainly quiet conditions, but on and off chances for some snow flurries as the week goes on. Bree, back over to you. Thanks, Lena. Coming up,